in that we would like to have a full different accounting system, possibly using software that's different, possibly having a full different checking account so that we can easily separate uh, the bookkeeping and see what is business versus personal more clearly. And then we have certain situations where that's just not, we have to, it's, we can't really exactly do that. And we have to get into more details, such as the use of an automobile, for example, you put gas in the car, you're using it both business and personal, you're gonna have to find some way to be breaking out the business versus personal, either through an actual calculation of some kind, a percentage calculation, uh, a mileage calculation or something like that. And if you pay for, for example, a home where your business office is, then you're gonna, gonna run into this problem because you're gonna be paying the mortgage and the interest and so on. And the interest then could be thought of partially to be business because part of the home you're paying for is for the office, which you're using for the business. And you can't really break out the mortgage payment in terms of principal versus interest, interest that's applied to the personal versus the business, right? And so these are going to be areas where even if you're not a bookkeeper on the tax preparation side of things, you're still going to have to do some bookkeeping stuff because the, especially the auto expense, the depreciation, the home office use are things that even if your bookkeeper was perfect, there's, there could be adjustments to it, given the fact of the, of the tax code, how it's laid out, the complications of depreciation and those commingling of certain things that will commonly come up.